Hi, I'm Nicola and I'm going to talk about multi-stage programming with generative and analytical macros. This is a formalization of the Scala tree macro system. Scala tree provides many metaprogramming features such as multi-stage programming for macros and runtime code generation, inline operations, match types and AST reflection. Our paper focuses on formalizing the multi-stage macros. Multi-stage programming provides strong foundations for macros. It provides the ability to generate and analyze code. Cross-platform portability ensures that pre-generated code can be compiled and used in different machines. And it also provides static guarantees such as a hygiene, well tightness of the generated code, and cross-stage safety. Scala3 provides the two classical multi-stage programming abstractions. Quotes to stage or delay the execution of code using a block starting with a single quote, and splices to evaluate and insert the code into quotes using a block starting with a dollar. The syntax was chosen to follow the same syntax rules as string interpolators. Quoted expressions are typed as an expert of the type of code that it contains. A macro is a splice that is not nested in a quote. This splice will be evaluated at compile time and the contents of its expression will be used to replace the splice. We use inline functions to hide implementation details of the macro. This hides the quotes, splices and expert type from the users of the macro. A call to a macro looks like a normal function call. To recover statically known information of the arguments at compile time, it is possible to unlift quoted values, transforming a quote that contains a constant into the constant itself. We can also match and decompose an expression using a quote pattern. Extracted pseudo expressions can be applied to further patterns, such as unlifting or they can be used to safely reconstruct new expressions. We introduced the lambda triangle calculus for well-typed hygienic multi-stage programming that supports both generative and analytical macros. The core calculus captures the classical multi-stage programming guarantees, hygiene, well-typedness of the generated code, and cross-stage safety. It is then extended to capture the semantics of macros and separate compilation. It is further extended to describe the semantics of quote patterns. The lambda triangle calculus is based on simply typed lambda calculus. It contains constants, variables, abstraction, application, and fixed point computations. Types can be constant or functions. To ensure cross-stage safety, we use a simple form of level-aware typing. It tracks the level i using a positive integer. When typing lambdas, we remember the level at which the variable was defined, and then we check that that variable is only used at the same level. We do not want to access a variable at a higher level because it is not initialized yet. Conversely, we don't want to access a variable at a lower level because it might not be available anymore. Similarly, the evaluation is aware of its level. At level 0, we have the usual lambda calculus evaluation semantics. In other levels, the evaluation is delayed. In particular, this implies that we only perform reductions at level 0. On the other hand, we evaluate inside the lambdas at higher levels. These might contain nested terms that are at level 0 and require evaluation. We add terms for quotes and splices, and a type for quoted terms. Quotes are typed using the quoted type, 
and increase the level by 1. Conversely, splices take a quote and decrease the level by 1. We expect splices to be nested in quotes and therefore can only type them at level 1 or greater. The evaluation of quotes and splices is simply done by increasing or decreasing the evaluation level. A splice at level 1 can be cancelled if it contains a quote value. A quote value is a quote that contains a term that has no direct splices. Values can be defined using levels. At level 0, we have the usual constant and lambda values. Quotes are also values as long as they contain a value at level 1. At level 1, every term is a value except for splices. At this level, quotes are also values as long as they contain a value at level 2. For larger levels, splices are also values. Given a level, we can identify values purely syntactically. Quote pattern match adds a new term. This term takes a quote scrutiny, matches it against a quote pattern, and depending on the result, will execute the then branch or the else branch. To type the pattern, we need a different kind of typing judgment. It tracks variables defining the pattern using gamma p. Additionally, it tracks variable definitions that the pattern inserts in the then branch of the match using gamma t. The pattern is typed with an empty gamma p to avoid captures of local variables and will return a corresponding gamma t that will be used in the then branch of the match. The pattern is typed at a higher level to account for the quote in the syntax. The patterns capture the syntax of the type lambda calculus. It does not include quotes, splices, nor match. In the pattern, we can only refer to local variables defined in the pattern. These variables are tracked using the gamma p environment. To extract sub-expression out of patterns, we introduce the bind pattern. This pattern will match any expression of a given type that is also closed under gamma p. This implies that the pattern will not match if an expression contains a reference to a binding defined in the pattern, as these references would not be available in any other environment. The match sub-expression is placed in a quote and bound to a variable that is available in the then branch of the match. This pattern can be generalized to allow matching on sub-expression that may contain references to variables that are defined in the pattern. Now the pattern can match any sub-expression of a given type that is closed under gamma minus the listed local variables. The match term will again be placed in a quote, but this time will wrap into lambdas that will take the replacements for all local variables that were listed. The parameters of the lambdas will take quoted versions of the local variables and will splice them into the quote of the match sub-expression. The resulting lambda will be bound to a variable that is available in the then branch of the match. To capture the semantics of separate compilation and macro expansion, we add a new level of abstraction that wraps over the terms. A program P contains a compiled definition named X with an implementation P that is used in another program P. Each definition introduces a new compilation stage. At the end of the chain of programs, we have an eval operation that will evaluate the term containing the main entry point of the program. Compiled program definition can be accessed 
at any staging level after their compilation stage. Similarly, they can be referenced in patterns. This makes it possible to match against known definitions. This provides cross-stage persistence for global definitions based on compilation stages rather than quotation level stages. The program evaluation is performed using a simple store that tracks the values of compiled programs. References to program variables can be linked to the compiled definitions. When compiling a program with their term value at level 1, which is a term without splices, the term is moved into level 0, moving the compilation stage by 1. Before that, we need to evaluate splices that may be contained in the implementation of the program. This is where we execute macro expansion. These are the splices that would appear outside of quotes in the source code. We prove soundness of the calculus using the theorem of progress for programs and the theorem of preservation for programs. In the process of proving those theorems, we also prove soundness for terms alone and terms without pattern matching. If you're interested, you can find the full model representation of the calculus in the paper, as well as how the calculus relates with the scalatory implementation. Thank you for watching this presentation. I also want to thank my co-authors and collaborators that made this project possible.